Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be upgrading macOS Snow Leopard to macOS El Capitan. Now you might be looking at this and saying, that's not macOS Snow Leopard, that's Windows 7. Well, it is, because macOS Snow Leopard is just a little too old to be able to get to the website I needed to for this, so I had to go on Windows 7, which is much more usable today. But I'm going to be updating it, and quick disclaimer, this may or may not work, and also, I'm filming on an iPhone, so it might not be, I mean, the quality is pretty okay, but it might not be the most stable video, so bear with me. This is one of my first YouTube videos, and I'm just starting to figure things out, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, now, um, I'm going to need to get to the boot picker, so... I might have to set the camera down for this, because I need, yeah, I'm going to need both hands, probably, or, oh, well, I can probably get it. Hopefully, I got it. My screen's a little dirty. This is a 2000, uh, mid-2009 MacBook, by the way. It's not the fastest, but... It was cheap and it works, so. Okay, and I have a few extra volumes on here. This is from a previous install that didn't really go away. So don't worry about these. Hopefully, that thing will show up. And if it doesn't, I don't know. Well, first, let me go into Mac OS X, which is my Snow Leopard partition. And yeah, I'll get back to you after that. And as I said, this is an attempt. I'm trying to get this to work, but if you look right there, that is not what it's supposed to be. There's not supposed to be a PKG file. There's just supposed to be an actual Mac installer app which is interesting so if i open it not sure how good you can see it says so it's just like it's installing an actual app but that's not really what's supposed to happen so i'm gonna have to go <laughs> find a different installer so i will see you guys later <sighs> okay so i decided to just go ahead and do this i'm not completely sure what it's going to do but if it does mess up my machine i do have a backup plan so and i don't have any data on here this is a new installation um just a few updates and i downloaded firefox because it works better than Safari, and it was pretty simple to get the newest version for macOS Snow Leopard. So let's just continue. Install. And I'll be back to you guys when it's done. Okay, so it says it installed successfully. Um... Let's see what it did. I wonder if it, like, installed the installer or something. I don't know. I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. So let's see what it did. Oh, oh, okay. So if you see right there, it did install the installer. So I went through a bunch of extra stuff for nothing. <sighs> well... I'm a little upset about that, because that took a while to get basically nowhere. But, uh, we're here now, so let's go. This is going to be, I I do love Snow Leopard and just kind of the three, this type of style of Mac OS look, but for practicality reasons, it's just not the best to go with today. A lot of App Store apps don't really work. 
So, uh, yeah. Pretty excited for the update. Now, let's go. Now, okay, now. Okay, now we're ready. Oh, you had the pinball for a second. That was weird. Okay, here we go. Not completely sure what it's doing. Still a little bit worried, you know. Because it kind of went away. And do I need to make, like, a bootable USB or something? I'm not really sure because it just went away. And I'm sorry for that noise in the background. That's an ice maker. I can't really stop that, but this is weird. Do I need to restart it? Because I don't have this. This is just an app, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I click agree. And put in... Okay, so Mac OS X. That's right. Now I click OK. Oh! Okay, now it's working. Did I click something wrong? That's weird. Nothing seems to be working on the first time today. So, I'll get back to you guys when this is all done and stuff because it's probably going to take a while because this thing's a little slow and I'm thinking about buying an SSD because I have the money and you might be thinking if you're going to get an SSD and you're going to have to reinstall why are you doing this well because I'm not completely sure if I'm getting one and I would still like to use this so I'm going to try to bring it to the newest it could be newest windows it can have newest mac os I guess you could put a patcher, but those don't necessarily run all that smoothly. And now that I've been talking for a little bit, it's actually halfway there, but I'll still cut. So, see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we finished, and it wants us to restart the computer now, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. This might take a while. Okay, there we go. Now it's shutting down. So yeah, this isn't the fastest. It, it came with 2 gigabytes of RAM originally. I have upgraded it. It's not that hard to upgrade these. Unlike Apple computers today. But you can upgrade it to 8 gigabytes. It's not necessarily supported by Apple. But you could do it, especially in Windows. But I tried, but the it was just, I don't know if there's like a supply shortage right now. I couldn't find any. And also the battery in this thing is awful. So it's basically always connected to MagSafe, which is a great connector. I love MagSafe. So this is probably going to take a while. So I'm going to cut Okay, well, um, I wasn't here when it restarted, but it looks like it did it, so I'm going to continue. It says, setting up your Mac, so this is an update, so it's not going to pop up with tons of things, although, okay, here we are. About this Mac... There it is. 10.11.6. I think it's the new one. I got this straight from Apple. So. Yeah. Alright. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like if you did. And subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.